happy travelers! In yesterday's video, we promised you a tour of our beautiful cottage here in Napa, California. Please keep in mind that we have been here for a night, so our stuff is kind of around here. Last night, we checked into this place called The Setting Inn in Napa, California, and we had just booked a regular queen room, but they ended up upgrading us to what's called The Cottage. It's its own separate building, actually. It's two bedrooms. One of them is uh, locked off because I think they're doing renovations in there, which is fine because we only need one bedroom. But you open the door into this living dining area. So we have lots of nice seating right here, two chairs and a couch. And I think that couch pulls out if you have more people that you need to fit in here. Lovely fireplace, which has been nice because it's a little chilly in the evenings. Over here, we have our kitchenette. It's got microwave, huge fridge, and everything you need to make coffee and drink wine. Got a nice big farmhouse table here, which is where we ate our breakfast this morning. They delivered pastries and fruit from a local bakery, which was so good, and the coffee was excellent, which is always a plus when you're staying in a hotel. That's the second bedroom that's locked off, but let's show you our bedroom. I love all these macrame accents too. Very boho. There is lots of light in here, but the shades are electric, which is really cool. You just press a button and they go down. Big old TV, got a desk here and a wardrobe with slippers and bathrobes and a freaking huge bed. I, I think this is a California king. It's definitely some kind of king. It's nice and plush and super comfortable. We had a great sleep last night. Just off our bedroom is a little private terrace, which is awesome, lots of seating. But I think the best part is the bathroom. Sliding barn door here, big old bathroom with a huge bathtub, which I definitely had a bath and enjoyed a glass of wine in there last night. My little travel magazines, it was pretty heavenly. Also, heated floors. You didn't know you needed it until you had it, and then I can't live without it now. Like, I'm screwed. Beautiful double vanity here. It's just so awesome, so pretty. So although we're super cozy in this amazing little cottage, we still haven't checked out the rest of the grounds because we got in when it was dark last night and we need to explore Napa. And I think we need to get at least two wine tastings in if you ask me. Over the next couple of days, we're gonna be exploring the town of Napa and also the rest of Napa Valley with some interesting wineries and state parks and things like that. So let's get to exploring, shall we? some lunch so we came to Oxbow Public Market here in downtown Napa. It is a marketplace that has a bunch of different eateries in it and it's one of the places where you can get a reasonably affordable meal in Napa. There's a bunch of different food types inside the market but we chose to get some quesadillas and tacos. The restaurant is called C Casa and everything is still outdoor seating here so we're sitting outside which is fine because the weather is beautiful. Our food has arrived. I went for the Cabo grilled prawn bowl. Kelly went for the steak quesadilla, and I think we made some good decisions. Lunch was really fantastic and affordable for Napa. And now we are headed to a wine tasting, which is, of course, the best and number one thing to do when you're in Napa Valley, right? As we were driving north, we came across a vineyard that had a wine cave, and they actually do tastings inside the cave. So we pulled in to check it out, and there's a big face on the entrance of the cave that kind of looks like Hagrid from Harry Potter. We made it to our first wine tasting, and I'm really excited. Sparkling wine for the win. We 
We made it to Mom Napa, which is famous for its sparkling wines. I am a big fan of the bubbles, so I'm really happy to be here. And we're also doing another sparkling wine tasting tomorrow. The weather turned out really, really nice today. The sun is going towards the horizon and it's just beautiful out here. No, no leaves on the grapevines right now because it is early March, but it's still very beautiful. So cheers. So Kelly had three glasses of wine, and I only had one, so I'll be doing the driving. It was not three, they were small. They were, it was a tasting size, okay? <laughs> All right, that was an amazing tasting at Mum Napa, and just about 10 minutes down the road, we are going to dinner at a place called Farmstead in St. Helena, I think. It looked really good online, and we're hungry, so we're gonna get some food. This is called Farmstead at Long Meadow Ranch. It comes highly recommended on the internet. For starter, we got a grilled artichoke and it came even before our drinks, which is a good sign. I'm such a fan of artichokes, I'm so excited. we decided to split the steak free, which was a 14 ounce ribeye. And I'm just a little bit excited about it. We weren't gonna get dessert, but they told us they had beignets on the menu. And I folded real quick. <laughs> I don't even have room, but beignets, I always have room for beignets. Good morning. So we ate so much food last night that we were both basically in a food coma and we came back and showered and passed out and totally forgot to sign off on this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching during our trip to Napa. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you see the next video in our Napa series, which is going to be awesome. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. This is Kelly from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. Riding an electric bike to a vineyard is almost the most Californian thing I've ever done before. <laughs> We're feeling a bit hungry because it's lunchtime. That's dumb. <laughs> Heated floors. Really? Yeah. I didn't realize that. Dude. Are we vlogging? Yeah. Where's my wine?